Hello artists, Mr. Calvert here. Um, today we are going to start a new two-day project, so we'll start it today, we'll finish it next week. All right, so don't feel bad if you don't get it done today. Um, our new artist that we're going to talk about, his name is Mars Jr., and he is an illustrator. And an illustrator is an artist who oftentimes makes pictures for like magazines or books or for websites. Oftentimes their artwork kind of tells a story. Um, and that is something you can grow up to do. A lot of times when we talk about artists and people wanting to grow up to be an artist, you think that you have to be a drawer or a painter or you have to be a sculptor. There are a lot of other jobs um, that relate to art that aren't necessarily those things. And an illustrator is a really great example of that. A lot of um, people who want to go into art when they grow up end up becoming illustrators and making pictures for like books. Um, so when we look at Mars Jr.'s work, um, he likes to focus on um, pop culture a lot. So a lot of times when we look at things, um, he'll focus on things that are popular, um, things that we see on the TV and movies, hear about on the radio or in magazines. So here we see um, a ship from Star Wars. Uh, let me zoom out again. Here we see Chewbacca. Okay, so a lot of times he likes to focus on pop culture. Okay, not always though. Um, just a couple more examples. Some stormtroopers, it looks like. Um, this is a wrestler named um, Andre the Giant that he based that one on. Um, but I'm really drawn to his architecture artworks. Uh, as you know, architecture is a building. Okay, and his art style is really recognizable. When you see one of his artworks, you know that it's his right away. And typically it's because the background is all one color. And then he'll even add some background, or he'll add some buildings in the background so you can see them way back there. Okay, but then you'll notice too that one of the buildings is typically white. So here he made part of this bridge white. And you might be wondering, well, why did he make that bridge white when everything else was red? And that's because he's making something called a focal point. Okay, and a focal point is, um, when you look at an artwork, it's the first thing that you notice. It's the most important thing. He's trying to draw your attention to that focal point. He doesn't want you to notice these buildings way back here. He wants you to notice the bridge. It's the most important thing. And he does this um, typically by using something called contrast in his artwork. And contrast is when two things don't look alike. They're very um, unsimilar. So this white building does not look like the yellow buildings in the background. Okay, That white building oftentimes, too, has more detail to it, so it holds our attention longer. So that's called a focal point. Right? Um, other times you might hear me called emphasis. Um, an artist is emphasizing a part of their artwork. They're trying to draw your attention to it. Um, so I like that he does these cool architecture drawings. A lot of times they are important places. They're not just like a random place, but a lot of times they are a building of significance. Um, let's see if we can find a couple more. I kind of like this one. Um, this is actually the building from Ghostbusters. Have you ever seen that movie? But how he's kind of emphasized that versus these buildings in the background. Um, just a couple more examples of emphasis that um, aren't his artwork, but just to give you examples, um, when we look at this um, picture of these tomatoes, what's the first thing you're gonna notice? It's gonna be this green tomato right here because it's different than all of the others. Okay, it has contrast. Same thing right here, these chess pieces. This white one in the middle, that's the focal point. And there are lots of different ways that you can create focal points. Um, so you could have contrast of color, so two colors um, that are very different. You have contrast of size. If you have a bunch of small things and something really big, you're going to notice the big thing first. Um, you can create focal points by where you put something on the artwork, on your artwork. Um, tons of different ways to create focal points, and I'll include a little, little short video after this for you to watch that has some different um, examples of focal points. But today, you are going to be creating a background. Um, so we know that those are going to be a couple buildings in the back. Okay, so here's my example, a couple buildings in the back. Okay, and then you'll also start your building in the foreground. That's something that's close to you. Okay, foreground's close, background's far away. Um, when we talk about things that are close and far away from us, we call that space. Right? Not like outer space, we're not, we're not talking about the stars and the planets, but space is things that are close and far away from us. Okay, as I said, we also talked about contrast, two things that don't look alike, so my white does not look very similar to my yellow.
okay? And then um, I think that was it. So I have a video for you to watch about focal points and then um, another video for you to watch on how to create your background today. Um, take your time, do a really good job. If you don't have a ruler to um, draw the really straight edges to your buildings, you can always use um, something else that is um, pretty straight like the edge of a book or something like that would work as well. Um, can't wait to see what you guys make. Bye.